I've been patched up, good and proper. First time been bitten by a snake live on air. Oh, That's quite impressive, dear. isn't it? Anyway, if you lot want Where to try coast steering or any other activity that you've seen on Live and Deadly, presumably not catching snakes, um, then head to our activity finder on our website. Just go to the section that says activity finder, type in your postcode or your town, and it will come up with some crazy activity that you can get out and do. So I'm very tall. Can you guess what it's time for? I'm very tall. Oh, actually, hang on. I've just heard in my ear. It, oh. Apparently there's some, some breaking news. Luckily. It's time for Naomi's news. We've got Helen to put some double-sided sticky tape on it for us this week. Thank you. In this week's Naomi's News, while a frog can cross a road or a country lane in just a few quick hops, a toad moves more slowly, meaning more run-ins with the traffic. It's been estimated that a mammoth 20 tonnes of toads are squashed by passing cars every year. To help the toads out a little, a local toad watch group in Norwich wants to recruit more people to patrol the roads and help toads cross safely. Volunteers carry the toads across the road in buckets and release them safely near breeding ponds on the other side. So, if you're a local, help a toad cross the road. Our next story in Nemi's News. A long-distance traveller has amazed wildlife experts. A humpback whale, which was first spotted in Brazil, has now been sighted off Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. That means the whale had to travel a quarter of the way round the globe, across the Atlantic Ocean, around Africa, and well into the Indian Ocean. That's nearly twice as far as the normal migration made by humpbacks. This incredible sighting will see scientists looking much deeper into the behaviour of the humpback whale. And finally, reports a British racing pigeon that lost her homing instinct. Homing pigeons have been known to cover amazing distances, sometimes up to a thousand miles to get home, but the very appropriately named Houdini was on her first race, just 225 miles across the English Channel, but failed to return to her owner in the West Midlands. Five weeks later, Houdini's owner had a very long distance call from Panama in Central America, 5,200 miles away from home, and he thinks that Houdini must have landed on a ship crossing the Atlantic and decided to hitch a lift. And that's it for Naomi's News. I absolutely story. love that story. Good, I can just it? see this racing pigeon going, I don't want to go to the West Midlands. Ah. I'm going on my holidays. I'm getting on a yacht and I'm going to Panama. Fantastic. In fact, that is the live and deadly spirit right there, yeah, isn't it? That's great. I love it. Something else that's uh, right in the live and deadly spirit is the next item. It's something that we like to call... Face the fear. Yes, this is all about animals that people think are really, really frightening, but I'm trying to convince you they're really, really not. Yeah, I'm not um, sure I believe you now, looking well, at your hand, but anyway. I reckon, yeah, but this yeah. is not going to bite you. This is a rather wonderful scorpion. This is scorpion. the emperor scorpion, yes. It's ripping on tight there. Um, and if you just put your hand out for me. Really? Is it going to yep, bite me? I absolutely Woo! promise that it won't. How's about that? It's got some quite big claws on it. it well, it has, really? yes. No, 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 it really won't. I mean, this particular species of scorpion um, does have a stinger, but actually it really doesn't use it that often. It In fact, you look. it does like me, yes. It's much more um, likely to use those big claws when it's catching its prey. You can see, I mean, it's, it's quite a monstrous looking animal, um, but really to us, no harm at all. Okay, um, well, that's good. Yeah. Scorpions, Fear. tarantulas, cockroaches. Fear face, see? Fear yeah. very easily faced. However, there is a scorpion in here. Yes, that was obviously filmed a long time ago. <laughs> now, Helen, you're here. You've obviously roughed it in quite a lot of places all over the world, haven't you? Normally, I only have Andy and Joel camping with me, so I'm glad I've got some happy helpers. So you've got some helpers here. I bet you never thought you'd be building a shelter in Norfolk. No, although I think it's colder here than it was when we camped in Alaska. <laughs> no way. Surely not. Well, our lovely audience here, hello, you guys. You are going to take this beautifully crafted A-frame here. We've given you a starting hand for the big build. And what you're going to have to do is create a bushcraft survival shelter, but one that you would be happy to overnight in. So it needs to be quite waterproof. Only snag is, I'm just going to give you two minutes to do it in. So are you ready? Off you go! Go, 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 go! Quick, quick, quick! No time to waste. Sorry, Jack. So, Helen, what yes. are we using here then? Well, we have got sycamore branches. Yeah. We've got a load of string there to tie it all together and make it safe and strong in case it's windy. But it's biodegradable string, I think, isn't yeah. it? So it would be all right if you had to leave your shelter there. Yeah, and there'd be no rubbish. Do we do encourage you to tidy up after yourselves. But... And all of this is stuff that, um, you know, we found lying around, so we haven't 
chopped anything down for the no. occasion. Because, like you say, it's autumn, so yeah. there's plenty of leaves on the Loads ground. Of leaves around. Good time to be making your very own shelter. So, what are we putting on top of this here? What are you using here? Cargo net. Cargo net? Yeah. And what's that going to do? That's going to camouflage it and like help us for a base to put the stick or the willow. Perfect. Thanks, Jack. So, it's good camouflage. So, if you didn't fancy camping overnight in it, you can always use it as an animal hide. Sit in there and observe some of the wildlife around you. Let's have a look. Oh, you've got lovely boots on today. Where are they from? My nanny. Oh, your nan <laughs> lent you the boots. Thanks for that. So there might be a few bugs coming into your shelter from all of this foliage you're putting on. Would that bother you? Um, yeah, but as long as it's cosy, you probably won't mind because you'll just doze off to sleep. <laughs> just doze off to sleep. Wouldn't notice a spider on your head. So we want to make sure all of these holes are completely stuffed with loads of leaves. Have you got any special techniques for doing this? Um, try weave. Oh, um, weaving, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's just make sure all the holes are completely yeah. filled, I think. Helen, do you want to have a little go inside? <laughs> Come and test it out for us. Oh, mind out. There's You're not going to go um, in you go. pour water on to see if it's waterproof, are you? No, we won't do that. We won't pour a bucket of water on it. What do you think, cosy? I suppose yeah, if you had a bit more time, you could cover the front as well and make a little doorway here. Sit no, in there, have a nice cup of tea. Yeah, it's lovely. lovely. You got about how much long love you got? I'm 15 really... seconds everyone, come on, let's try and fill in all of these gaps. I'm not really helping anyone. I think you might need a thermal sleeping bag in there, it might be a bit chilly. <laughs> Seven, six, come on, throw in a few more, come on, throw it all on top. Four, three, quick, quick, quick. Stop everybody! Oh, good job. Good work. Please, with that, would you sleep outdoors in that? Um, maybe. Maybe. I think you've done a great job. We'll let you admire your handiwork and have a little bit of a relax while we go and catch up with Steve and this week's UK Deadliest. Stuff. But as Eve said there in the film, you can't just go to any beach and start jumping in off the rocks. There could be all sorts of ways you could hurt yourself. Dangerous currents, rocks hidden under the water. So please, if you have been inspired to take up extreme rock pooling, as Steve told you earlier, head to our website, click on the activity finder, and there you'll find a whole list of places where you can try out coast steering. Right, so we're back down by the broad, and I thought it'd be very interesting to get our intrepid explorers here, Helen and Steve, out onto the water with a reptile that is well known for being a little bit snappy. We now know only too well that Steve likes to wrangle with the deadliest and they're both looking pretty petrified now. Look petrified please. He looks like he's doing a mime act. Because <laughs> you're about to come face to face with the almighty croc. Whoa. <laughs> yes, yeah, so this is the challenge. What you're going to have to do is both paddle out on the water. Sorry, it is a little bit cold today. Go Jeez. around the orange boy and the first one back to land will be the winner. No head starts. Are you ready to rumble? We're ready. I'm Go gone. on, Helen, have a game start. Oh, quick start. <laughs> ready? Three, two, one, go! Yeah. You know what? I've got a feeling Helen is going to give Steve a run for his money today. Go on, Helen. You've all been voting on the website. You think that Helen is going to get blown out of the water by Steve, but the crowd are cheering for her. I'm hoping her blue Peter bag is not going to pop her croc. But feel free to pop his... Oh, no, she's lost her croc. Steve is storming on the head going around the boy. Come on, guys, make it snappy. The second time in this series we've had girls v girls. That's Helen versus Princess. Can't say anything to me because he's out on the water and can't hear me. Hey, she's stolen his crop. Good on her. Come on, Helen. Hope we're not going to have any crocodile tears from Steve. <laughs> oh, he's just cheating now. He's just swimming back. Come on, Helen. Paddle away. Good thing is you retain your dignity when you do a challenge on Live and Deadly. Lily, come on. Come on, Helen, you can do it. I think she might win. I think she might win. Quick! Come on! Come on! I don't believe it. We have a champion! Yay. Nobody saw that, did they? Nobody saw the tipping. A bit of cheating going on. Well done! Girl power! Girl power show. You all right there, Steve? I demand a steward's inquiry! <laughs> Poor Steve. Not having the best show today, are you? <laughs> It's just not it's fair! Just, I love it. it! I am very proud <laughs> of you. Well done, Helen. <laughs> Helen, we're going to leave you to get dry Thank and you. relax a little bit. You deserve it after that. What well, good sports! Let's hear it for Stephen Helen! <laughs> <laughs>